Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So on the channel, I've been letting you know about Flyby 11, which allows upgrading to Windows 11 24H2 on unsupported hardware, which according to the developer, as mentioned previously, offers all working methods to bypass the restrictions for installing Windows 11 24H2 on unsupported hardware. Now, I'll leave the previous video I posted earlier this month, linked down below and in the end screen, where it now supports the media creation tool as a download source. Check the video out for more info. But just to let you know that the app has received quite a significant update. And according to the developer, Fly OB is here with Fly by 11 living on. And this is the new logo. And it said that Fly by 11 is now Fly OB, pronounced Fly dash O dash B, Fly OB. And it says, and it is said that it sounds like a buzzing B, but it's really all about the smooth OOB out of box experience. Just to give you a little bit more information regarding this update, if you are interested, because this tool has gained a bit of popularity to update on unsupported hardware. And just a quick recap, OOBE stands for out of box experience. And that's basically what you see when you first start Windows, as you may well know. And the developer says this isn't a huge revolution, just a natural evolution so the app can keep up with all the new features and continue helping you upgrade and set up Windows 11 better than ever. Now, if you are asking the question, why fly OB? The developer says that bypassing checks is only half the battle. What we really needed was a full setup solution, one that respects user choices, not Microsoft's defaults. That's why fly OB was the natural next step. And it's also mentioned from the change log that it's more than just a workaround. It's a complete and customizable out-of-box experience designed to, there's three main areas, skip the fluff, remove the junk, give you full control from the very first boot because your PC should work for you, not the other way around. Fly OB is just to keep the idea alive and push it even further. So that's basically why they changed it from Fly by 11 to Fly OB. Now, if you're wondering what's new, the latest version is version 0.35. And this is just a GIF provided from uh, the announcement regarding the new app and the update. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six improvements with version 0.35. First of all, the personalization page has been expanded where you can now switch theme modes for both apps and Windows separately. There's improved visual customization, broadcasting. Changes are now instantly reflected across the system, similar Windows and the settings app. They've also added an option to the getting started page for adding the device to a domain. They've overhauled the Windows update page for clearer, more responsive feedback on what's been downloaded and installed. The Navigation controls have been refined where forward, center, right and back, top, left buttons are now aligned horizontally, left and right for a more intuitive feel. Also relocated the refresh button from top left to top right for consistency. And the last improvement, they fixed several issues related to custom display scaling. So that's basically what's new. And this is quite a major update to Fly by 11, now called Fly OB. And the good news is that if you don't want to use the new version, they've also made the classic version still available. So that would be Fly by 11 Classic. And you can also download Fly OB. So you've got both options, which I think is a nice move. And I'll leave this post from GitHub linked if you would like to get your hands on Fly by 11. Because as mentioned, according to the developer, offers all working methods to bypass the restrictions for installing Windows 11 24H2 on that unsupported hardware. And as I always say on the channel, I don't encourage installing Windows and unsupported hardware, but obviously this is a popular way to get the job done if you so wish. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.